Steaming and or boiling your menstrual cup before and after each cycle is super important. Obviously when we use menstrual cups, we're putting it into a very sensitive part of our body. So it's imperative that we keep our cups squeaky clean. So I'm gonna go over steaming and boiling your cup, what the difference is between the two, and a couple tips to make cleaning your cup and keeping it in good shape a lot easier. So there are two different things that you should do during your cycle to make sure you're keeping your pixie cup super clean and in great condition. The first one is to make sure that you're cleaning it. Every time you take your pixie cup out, you wanna make sure that you're rinsing it with either our DIY rinse or a natural soap. If you don't have either of those handy, make sure that you're rinsing it under hot water or warm water or make sure you wipe it out with a pixie cup wipe. You just wanna make sure that each time you take your cup out and you're handling it, that you're making sure that it's super clean before putting it back into your body. Cleaning your pixie cup can be a bit challenging when it comes to public restrooms. So luckily we have a whole separate blog post and video about that topic, but it actually isn't as hard as it may seem. And we do have a couple products that can help make that easier for you. So make sure to check that out. So aside from cleaning your cup every day while you're using it, the next thing that you want to do to make sure your cup is in good condition and squeaky clean is to make sure you sanitize it not only before you use your cup, but after your cycle's over. That way, all the bacteria is removed from your cup and you're making sure it's as clean as possible before using it. There are a couple different ways to sanitize your cup and I'm going to go over both of them. And it really is up to you which method you want to use. It just depends on which one you think is easier. But I'm going to go over boiling your cup and steaming your cup. Steaming your menstrual cup is relatively new in the menstrual cup world. We at Pixie Cup have the cutest little menstrual cup steamer that you can get on Amazon. We have it linked in our blog and it is absolutely incredible. This is my preferred method because I feel it is the easiest, quickest, and most hassle-free. But basically, steaming your cup kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and all you have to do is get the steamer, pop the top open, put a little water in, plug it in, put your cup in and leave it alone for anywhere from five to 20 minutes. And then it's completely steamed, sanitized and ready for use next time. It's fantastic. Boiling your menstrual cup is the more traditional method. And this is the method that I used to use before I got my pixie cup steamer. And essentially all you do is bring a pot of water to a boil, put your pixie cup in the water once it's boiling and use either a fork to dip it in or some kind of utensil to hold your cup down, but make sure that it's not being held down and touching the bottom of the pot or else it can damage the silicone. So you have to just make sure your cup is submerged but not hitting the sides or bottom. And you just boil your cup for five minutes and then take it out and dry it and put it away. And it's super easy. But if the thought of using kitchen pots and pans or kitchen utensils kind of makes your skin crawl, we also have a another alternative for you if you want to try a different boiling method and that's called the pixie cup cup our pixie cup cup is this cute silicone cup that pops closed and pops open and all you're going to do if you want to use this method is fill this up with water to about here just not too full because it could overflow in the microwave and then put the lid on it and bring it to a boil in the microwave and then once the water is boiling take it out Open it up, submerge your pixie cup, put the lid back on it, and leave it for like five minutes. And then once you come back, your pixie cup is gonna be completely sterilized. You can just pop this closed and store it for a different time. This is especially great if you're traveling or staying somewhere where you don't have a pot or a steamer. So this is the best option for on the go or traveling, anything like that. I absolutely love this. This is also great to clean your cup in public restrooms as well. These are just a couple different options that we wanted to share and I am curious to know which method you like to use to sterilize your cup. Do you like boiling? Do you like steaming? Has anybody tried the Pixie Cup cup? And do you have any tips on sterilizing your cup and keeping it in the best shape? We would love to hear. We're always looking for more tips in this community. So go ahead and drop a comment below and share your tips. And until next time.